Let's consider what happens when we multiply two matrices together. So suppose, for instance, we're wanting to work out A times B. The first thing that's important is to know the conditions when this is defined. And if A is an M by N matrix, that is a matrix with M rows and N columns, then B must have order N by some other number R. That is, the number of columns of A must be equal to the number of rows of B for multiplication to be defined. And the resulting matrix AB will actually then have order M by R. That is, AB will have M rows and R columns. So let's have a look at an example. Consider matrix A, 352170. This matrix has three rows and two columns, hence that is a three by two matrix. While matrix B here with elements four, two, negative one, three, that has two rows and two columns, giving it order two by two. So first thing to check if we're wanting to find AB is whether that is defined. And yes, it is because A has two columns, B has two rows. So therefore AB will be defined and it will have order three by two. So let's write these out again. A was of the form 352170, and B was of the form 4, 2, negative 1, 3. Now when we're multiplying these matrices together, I'm just going to allow a fair bit of space here so we can show the steps. The first thing we do is look at the element that will be in the first row and the first column of the resulting matrix A, B. And for the element in row 1, column 1 of AB, we go along the row of the matrix to the left, which was row 1 of A, and we go down column 1 of B. And we work this out as 3 times 4 plus 5 times negative 1. That is, we multiply those pairs of elements and add the products. Similarly, if we're going to the next part, to get the element in the first row and second column of AB. Again, we'd go across the first row of A and now down the second column of B, which gives us three times two plus five times three. And same idea, second row of A, first column of B, to get the element in the second row, first column here gives two times four plus one times negative one. While second row of A, second column of B becomes two times two plus one times three. And for the third row, first column element that will become seven times four plus zero times negative one. And finally the third row second column element will be seven times two plus zero times three. Now it's just a matter of ordinary algebraic simplification. So the first one becomes 12 minus five. The next one three by two plus five times three is six plus 15. 2 by 4 plus 1 times negative 1 is 8 minus 1. 2 times 2 plus 1 times 3 is 4 plus 3. The last element here, 28 minus 0, and this one will become 14 plus 0. Therefore, our final result for AB easily simplifies down to give us 7, 21, 7, 7, 28, 14. So that is an example of matrix multiplication.